What happens when you're ready to get a mortgage or you're ready to get that car or you're ready to make your moves, right? And your credit score's holding you back and you have the money, you have the money, but your credit score's saying you're not the one, babe. What happens then? They basically took out a £600 loan in my name how to build your credit score. I actually have a perfect credit score. My credit score is 999. I managed to accomplish this in a year without a credit card. So if you're trying to play by your rule book, you're gonna be waiting a long time to get to where you need to be. Create a folder or a playlist on YouTube. Title it Finances 2024 and save this video there or level up 2024 so you know that you're gonna actively work on this this year. Don't let it delay to next year, the year after. Don't just watch this and leave it. Share it with someone that could benefit from it. Share it with someone that you're trying to grow with on your journey. Let's get into the video. Hi my lovely, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chica Angel. Stick around if you're on your self-development journey. You're just growing, you're trying to be your best self. I started a series recently called Getting My Life Together and it made some people panic and they started reaching out to me and they were like oh my gosh what's wrong I saw you what you posted about getting your life together and um, why did you post that why did you say that what's going on in your life nothing's going on in my life like nothing bad is happening you don't need to wait until you hit rock bottom to get your life together I just know I deserve better and I should be living a better life so I'm changing my life that's what's really happening for real and I'm documenting it so that I can inspire you guys motivate you guys and bring you guys along with me on this journey and hopefully you're on the same journey too seems like most of you are because I have been getting messages saying it's been encouraging and a lot of people have been engaging interacting with the content I've been posting I'm currently in Cambridge, Cambridge University. I'm at a conference called Business of Software and I'm going to be speaking today at 10.30. It's currently 8.18. I'm going to be speaking with Bob Moesta. He created a concept of jobs to be done. You might use it if you work in a corporate company and you're dealing with customers or you're interviewing customers or you're doing client calls or consulting and if you don't use it then I definitely suggest you get acquainted with it because it's really good. Me one year ago would have felt nervous about this but me right now is very much okay because I've put myself in a position where I'm now comfortable with being uncomfortable and this isn't my first conference. I spoke in Istanbul at the Google Developer Conference in October as well so for me if I could do that I could do anything. Put me on a TED talk baby. That's not what today is about. I'm just going to be getting ready doing my makeup. Speakers breakfast has started and this is our chance to network and get acquainted with other founders and CEOs, investors. I don't want to miss it and I definitely want to do my makeup because I'm going to be recorded and I want to watch it back on this video. Yeah, hate that. Anyways, let's get into what this video is really about. How to build your credit score and perfect your credit score. I actually have a perfect credit score. My credit score is 999. I managed to accomplish this in, I believe, a year without a credit card, without working for a long time. I'm just going to tell you guys what worked for me. I'm going to make a TikTok video giving tips in general on what could work for you because I know other stuff that could work that I didn't do and I don't need to do because I have a perfect credit score so I don't need to boost it. But if I ever need to boost it, I will be doing those stuff. In this video right now, I'm solely going to be talking about what I did. I wanted to build my credit and the only reason I wanted to build my credit is because I want an Amex card. I just, I love the idea of an Amex card. I want to bring out my card and be like, do you take Amex? And then you tell me no. And I'm just like, what do you mean you don't take Amex? What do you mean? What do you mean you don't take Amex? Ah, I want to experience that. I want to be that girl, you know? Pull out my Amex, you don't take it. And it's just like, well, you're an inconvenience, aren't you? So I wanted the Amex, I applied for an Amex and they said no. And I was thinking, that's weird. Why are you not giving me my Amex? I don't get it. But then I realized, obviously I didn't really have much credit or any credit. I don't know if I had any credit. And you know, if you're not working on your credit, no credit is bad credit, right? So I was like, you know what? I need to do this, I need to actively, I started applying for other credit cards. I lowered my standards, I was like, let me apply for other credit cards. I want to get a credit card at least, so I can build my credit. Everyone was saying no. And then I realized, okay, the more you apply for credit cards, the worse your credit score is gonna be because you're gonna get rejected and that's gonna show on your credit checks or whatever. You've been applying and you've been getting rejected. So I took a break from applying for credit cards for about a year. And then I thought, okay, let me actively try to build my credit. Like, let me try to do something. So I opened a Lockbox account. And if you don't know what Lockbox is, Lockbox is basically a company that takes out a loan on your behalf because if you apply for a loan, no one's gonna give it to you if you don't have credit, right? So they take out a loan on your behalf and you pay the loan back incrementally every month. You select how much you want the loan to be so i think the minimum is 20 pounds a month up to 200 pounds a month maybe i set mine to 50 pounds a month so i was paying 50 pounds a month to lockbox for a year by the way if you like doing makeup but you don't like looking cakey and you don't like your makeup looking heavy or like you're trying to do too much this is like a foundation tint get this i've been using it for a year it's basically finished now but i'm just gonna use it for this conference and then when i get back i need to buy new makeup that's how much to lockbox and I said I want to pay £50 a month. They basically took out a £600 loan in my name and that means I pay them back the money every single month and they pay back the loan every single month and you have to pay back on time. So if you miss the dates, like let's say I set mine for like the 18th of November, which is my birthday, you have to pay it back every month on the 18th. So I'll be paying £50 a month every month for a year. And the best part is at the end of the 12 months, they'll give it back to you. So not only have you taken out a loan, you successfully managed to pay it back on time and then at the end of it all, you get your money back. When you get your money back, 
I suggest that you opt for the option where you pay £30 to receive your money because there's two ways about it. Either you can create a new bank account or a new credit card or something with one of their partners. Let's say for example, if they're partners with NatWest, they might say, okay, to receive your £600 that you've been saving for the year or paying back for the year, make a NatWest account so you'll create it and then they'll put the money there for you. Now, the problem with this is, will this opening up random cards can affect your credit as well? Especially if you're not really gonna use the card, you're gonna shut it down. Don't advise you to do it. I've heard people went that route and it actually made their credit score go down. I opted for the other option, which was paying them 30 pounds to get my money back. They essentially give that option because they say, well, if you're not gonna go with one of our partners, then we're not really gonna get an incentive from our partner, so we won't really get paid like that. So if you give us 30 pounds, it's cool. We'll give you back the money. So I just pay back the 30 pounds now got back 570 and that's nice if you're saving for something i don't know what i spent that money on i never used to handle running into random money well like it would just disappear i'll just spend it and i don't know where it goes but now i've actually become so much more financially literate that i am budgeting and everything so i will know where that money's going so i'd like to run into random money right now please thank you to be fair i actually have recently and i've been budgeting it and managing it well so i'm definitely on my way there lockbox was one of the main things being able to consistently have a bill not even just a bill but a loan that you're paying back that is a responsible babe right there also if you register yourself and your address to the voting system or something or just to vote register to vote that would boost your credit score it shows that you're a reliable somebody they know where to find you if any sort of what hala arises if any sort of problem raises up they know where to find you so i think that's why they want to know your address and your information the bills i've been paying on for years i've never failed to pay them i pay them on time have recurring bills that you can definitely take care of like it's not even an issue and you don't even need to think about even employed or not employed you know that this is getting paid regardless those bills are easy peasy them and squeezy have those recurring bills that are sustainable it also gives you drive to actually make sure you're making money even if you're not employed because you still have stuff you need to pay for so for example Sometimes I work like right now I'm in my big girl job era but when I'm not I mainly focus on making my money through content creation. I've been making content for years. I actually started my first YouTube channel when I was like 12 and I started making money from content in like 2021. 2021 definitely was getting the gifted stuff and then 2021, 2022 is when I started getting paid. Have sources of income that you can tap into whether you're employed or whether you're not employed or just extra places you can get finances from. So whether that's your bold dad, whether that's an older sibling or an uncle or auntie or a parent or whether that's a skill or side hustle i i would prefer if you guys hone into your skill side hustle just because that's more long term and if your bold dad goes bust then what after that <laughs> okay then what actually happens after that i connected my bank cards that sits to my experience and based on my financial history my spending habits my, they basically went through my bank statement and my payments and stuff online and based on that, they boosted my credit score as well. So one thing I'll also say is don't be fast up, fast up to open any sort of bank cards, random bank cards, even if they're saying, oh, we'll give you money to open with us. Okay, the speaker's breakfast is gonna be over soon. So I need to hurry up. So I'm just gonna round this video up. Overdraft, let's talk overdraft. Don't get it, <laughs> don't get it. I feel like that's you learning to be dependent on using something that's not yours. And why would you try to do that? Why are you trying to do that? Why are you actually trying to do that? Don't get in that habit. When you go to uni, they're gonna ask you, do you want overdraft? Nope, don't even sign up to that. Don't even subscribe to that. I have never use overdraft and I will never use overdraft unless it's a situation where maybe I've got my first property and I need to furnish it and I need a bed to sleep on or I need a sofa to sit on and I know like the money will be back very soon but I personally would not want to get acquainted with overdraft I don't want to know overdraft I don't want to talk to overdraft nothing about that please I literally hear people casually talking about how oh yeah I'm in like 3k overdraft like I'm in like 2k overdraft how do you do that and why do you and then there's people that are just like in thousands of thousands and I'm just like if you're in that sort of situation I can't even give you advice on that because I've never been in that but please don't get an overdraft work the work you need to work get a second job get a third work night shift and day shift but do not get an overdraft do not do that especially at uni don't do it because you're going to be easily influenced to be spending your money because what are you spending your overdraft on is it rent or is it shots on the weekends for 2.5 seconds let's just sit down and be serious i had to keep going off camera to just kind of finish off my makeup i'm wearing this suspiro opera this is actually a sample tester this is oud oil that i love i think it's got like musk in it or something i don't i don't even know but it smells good from those Arabian perfume shops. Probably somewhere in Whitechapel. I don't actually know. I can't remember where I was. It smells good, long lasting. Oh, just clothes. I always love to pair my perfumes with oils or I wear like multiple perfumes just because I don't need anyone smelling exactly like me. Um, so I have my own Jeanne Sequoia to it, of course. I'm just gonna finish off my hair. I'm actually not doing my eyebrows. That's the thing I love about getting your eyebrows microbladed because you don't really have to actually ever do them. Like you 
kind of do but you, you don't really have to i've not put a single bit of concealer or eyebrow pencil or nothing next to my eyebrows and it will be fine it'll be okay i will be okay i don't know how i came here without my hot comb i even forgot my hairbrush and only bought this metal comb so let's just see what we can do with this but to be fair my favorite thing about metal combs and straighteners is you can turn them into hot combs by just putting them in there and they get so hot that they can literally burn you like can you see the smoke coming off of this? I don't know if you can see that, but it's hot. Right, if I missed out any tips, I'm gonna share them on TikTok. But for now, I feel like that's the majority of the advice I'll give you. Also, one thing that I wish I started sooner is set a budget, create a budget, because I live a great life. I, li I live a good life, but before I wasn't budgeting, so it would just be more of a money's coming, money's coming back in it, money's coming back in it, money's coming back in it, spend it, it's coming, spend it, spend it, spend it, it's coming back in it. Not that I was hitting minuses or not that I was spending my all or my last, but it's coming back, but how much is coming back and when is it coming back and when it comes back, what are you going to do with that? So I'm so happy that I've woken up. I am meant to be cleaning you guys. Woken up. I'm more aware and alert and intentional with my finances. I know what money is mine. I know what money is not mine. I know what belongs to my savings. I know what belongs to my classes. I know what belongs to my mentors, my ice skating. I know what money is not to mine before it hits my account now. If you guys need any tips or help with budgeting and finding a way to save, everyone can save by the way. Even if you're making what minimum wage or even if you're not even making money, you're just getting money from your parents, you can still save. If you need help with that or you want a savings video, I have managed to double my savings since January. And I tell you, I only started focusing on savings in Feb. I told God, I sat down with God, we had a conversation and we said February is going to be financial Feb financial Feb and what happened in February in February we discussed and I said I want to make more and he said no you need to learn how to budget first and I was like are you sure about that he was like yep <laughs> so he taught me how to budget and it's been very simple been very easy for me and then now that he taught me how to budget in March he blessed me with a bonus which I was not expecting so it's like you need to learn the fundamentals before you can be ready to receive more right that's all I'm saying. So if you guys want the um, budgeting video, you want the tips, whatever, let me know in the comments. Also, make sure you follow my TikTok as well. Not all of you might know this, but I'm actually a founder of two businesses, right? This is low key testimony time because the last thing I just said made me realize, let me give a little piece of testimony. Don't normally give testimonies because I just don't like sharing my business, but let me give some testimonies, right? Because if God's blessing me, let me show you that you can be blessed too. So this year I'm skyrocketing through my goals, I'm hitting my achievements, everything I need to do, I have my vision board set. I'm being an action girl, as I said this year, right? As I said on TikTok and Snapchat and everywhere. Cool. I set goals on a monthly basis, but also on a 12 week basis, which is quarterly in the business year, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, right? So every three months, basically. January was about my fitness, mainly. February was about finances and faith. I got halfway through March and I realized, oh my gosh, I didn't pick a key thing to focus on this month. What's going on, what's going on, what's going on? But I think because in February, I focused on my finances, is I wanted to increase my revenue and my income right but God said no you need to focus on budgeting and understanding and learning fundamentals of money like you're trying to run before you walk I understood that and I started working on my budgeting unintentionally I was working on my business which is something on my vision board but because I didn't pick it out for March it wasn't planned I got halfway through the month and I was thinking oh my gosh I forgot to plan my focus for the month but I had been focused because it aligned with my previous month increasing my revenue increasing my income and I've got my bonus as well so it's like things are just falling into place so I have to say to you in my little testimony actually nothing little about no testimony right what i have to say to you in my testimony is trust in god use your faith and your relationship with god as your foundation for everything that you do even if it's a little small something because you might think you know what you're doing but here what you don't you don't know what you're doing god knows what you need to be doing so if you're trying to play by your rule book you're going to be waiting a long time to get to where you need to be or where you should be because you don't even know where you're supposed to be only he does so Tap into God, tap into the words, use the word to guide you and everything will just fall into place. Am I ready? I think I am. Now I'm ready to go to the speaker's breakfast and ready to speak at the conference as well. So wish me luck. Even though by the time you see this, it's probably gonna be like one or two weeks later, but if you want some career advice, I don't wanna become a career creator, right? But if you want advice in general about leveling up, glowing up, being a better version of yourself, anything, right? Send me a message, leave a comment, give me video ideas or things you wanna talk about and I'll create a video. I don't want to hear that you guys are not working on your credit score after you watch this. Make sure you work on it, okay? Okay.